Hello everyone, welcome back to wherever I'm going to post this. I'm not sure if it's Instagram or YouTube or whatever. But uh, today I'm here at this really cool little park pond. It's quite big. It took us like one and a half miles to hike back to where we are right now. And uh, we've come here today to do some winter pan fishing, specifically for a very interesting fish that I saw someone catch on Google Maps, a yellow perch. Uh, spoiler alert, I just caught one. It's been like a decade since I've caught one, and that was like when I was like, I don't know, in kindergarten. So it, it, it's needed a long-awaited photo upgrade. But to, let me show you what I've been doing, and maybe we can even get one on camera. So let me go get my rod. Hey. So this is what I'm using. I got this little, actually this is like a Zebco micro rod. It's just like a little cheap ultralight I've had for a very long time. Little Zebco, no, Shakespeare. 500 size ultralight with two pound test going super finesse here okay i don't think anything is going on and then i'm just fishing a really interesting rig uh which i first saw from isaac of isaac's nature corner uh he made a video a long time i don't know where it went on youtube but uh he was drop shotting flies and i really wanted to try this so thank you isaac for the uh, uh really cool idea also check out his instagram he's got some great wildlife shots man Dude's great at it. But uh, here's the rig. I've got this little flashback pheasant tail. I don't think it's going to focus. But it's got a little flashaboo uh, head on it to give it some flash. And it's just a pheasant tail nymph. And I've got it on like a little dropper loop rig here. And two split shots as the dropper. And basically all I've been doing is casting it out nice and far, waiting for it to hit the bottom. And then I will just slowly just jiggle the rod and slowly reel it in and then you'll just feel a thump and they'll be on there so far caught one big bluegill and a nice little perch so we're gonna see if i can get one on camera for you guys and who knows maybe we'll get whatever's eating the worm on the bottom on that rod so watch that rod and see if you can get see if there's anything going on in there but uh i'm gonna start fishing and we'll see what happens okay looks like the angle's good okay go. Net a cast. Waiting for it to sink. Okay, it's hit the bottom. Keeping the rod tip, you know, pretty high. Trying to keep the line tight. And then just slowly dragging that weight along the bottom. If your weight gets stuck, just continue doing what you're doing. You might need to give it a really small pop to get it off the bottom, get it unstuck. Other than that, it's simple fishing. Oh, there we go. What is that? Ah. Uh, little bluegill smallest one of the day but i was on our second cast there it is not the most exciting oh got off let me uh, show them to you guys there it is a lot smaller than the first one i caught today i'll show a picture on the screen right now of the bigger one i caught but yeah little dootler got him pretty close to shore i think the bigger ones are out deeper but let's go okay First fish, not the most exciting thing, but uh, let's keep going. Maybe we'll catch one more. Hopefully, uh, my phone doesn't die. I've got like 40% and the battery's not super good. So uh, maybe I'll show one more fish and then it'll probably just be a photo slideshow at the end if I get anything else. Okay, I'll keep going. I really like this place so far. It's extremely peaceful. Just. You and oh oh, that's what you. That's what I get for fishing so close to my other rod. Yeah. <laughs> well, everyone, wasn't recording, and that's when the uh, rod went off. And look what we have: a perch. Not with the uh, drop shot, but you can see these guys are around on the bottom, scavenging around for you know little things buried in the mud, probably. 
Look at how beautiful that fish is, man. Oh my gosh, hold on a second. Gotta take a picture of that, holy crap. Such a beautiful fish. You can see how they kind of have the same sort of dorsal fin as like darters and walleye and stuff. Spiky little operculum right there. Beautiful colors. Really nothing else like them around here, so they're pretty easy to identify. What a gorgeous little fish. Wow. First one on the channel, too. Beautiful. Oh, oh. get him some water real quick. There we go. Let's get you. Look at how he's flaring out his uh, operculums. You can see why they're spiky. They got a little spike right there as a defense against predators, like walleye or something, although those aren't in here. Okay, how is he hooked? There we go. Gorgeous fish. And he's going back. That's so cool. There's a lot of them in here, so we're going to keep trying to catch them. Keep going. Ooh. There we go. Aw, oh, dang it. Well, I didn't really want to end the video with another dinker. I wish I could have gotten one of those big bluegill or a perch, but I'm starting to probably run low on battery, so I think I'm just going to uh, end the video at least with a live catch. If I can get this little guy untangled. There we go. Another bluegill. Yeah, they're not super exciting since they're so small, but gives you a little rush on a cold November afternoon. So that's going to be it for all the live catches for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, let's talk about some of the other stuff I caught. So there's that big bluegill I showed earlier in this video. Then there's that yellow perch. I love the way it was posing for the camera. They're basically like giant darters. They're in the, uh, like in the perch family and stuff with like walleye and then some of your persina, ethiostoma stuff. So yeah, they're like big darters essentially, which is really cool. Um, <clears throat> feed on a lot of different things, you know, macro insects macroinvertebrates like what I was trying to throw today, minnows, all that cool stuff. Uh, and then down that way, there is a little tiny spillway, not a ton of water going through it right now, uh, since we haven't had like a ton of rain. But uh, there was a ton of, I believe, striped shiners in there. I don't think there are uh, common shiners in here. It's probably striped since we're so far up north. Uh, and they were quite aggressive. Uh, I'd taken the bait. It doesn't look like there's anything else in those two little pools. Uh, but yeah, so far having a good day. Oh, tiny bass. They like it too. Not, again, not super interesting, but there you go. They, they will eat it. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed, where, again, this video, if it goes anywhere. Tidelines, everyone, and thank you all for watching.